So here's uh, Leon Camier, uh, and um, you are going to uh, ride with uh, Max Biaggi as your partner next year, aren't you? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's, uh, it's a mega opportunity for me for coming from the British Championship uh, to get in a race in a, in a factory. I've really put a massive amount of effort into, uh, into the bike this year. You know, the first in the championship, and they got fourth in the championship. Yeah. Consistently on the podium and got a race win their first year. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They've achieved amazing results, and um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, when I can be involved, we can slowly improve things, and, um, and I can hopefully continue that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Leon, uh, how old are you? Um, I turned 23 this year. 23 this year. And um, and uh, next year you'll be on uh, uh, one of the most competitive bikes on the paddock, arguably. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah you know, as, as I've said, it is is a pretty first year this year, and they've they've achieved some mega results. Um, to, to try and say that they're going to go and dominate next year is difficult to say. You know, they've um, for for a pretty. They want to just improve again, you know. Yeah. Um, so I had a, a good chat with um, a couple of days ago, and they were sort of explaining to me they're not they're not expecting to go and dominate. They're not expecting to go and run away with the championship. They just want to keep improving, and it's the right attitude to have because mm. if it doesn't go to plan, then and they've expected to win, then they're only gonna. It, it's not a good good attitude to have. So they've got a very realistic. Um, Approached it, which is, in my opinion, the same as what I have. So, yeah, yeah. hopefully, everything will work out fine, and um, yeah, we will sort of uh, hopefully meet our expectations. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to try and beat your teammate on a couple of occasions? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously, the the coolest <coughs> thing to do is to beat your teammate. That's the, the number one goal. But yeah. to beat Max is um, we have to be riding very, very well. Um, like, he's obviously a, a legend of the sport. Really. I think. Uh, in the last race we did at Porto Mayo, I finished two seconds behind him in the race. Yep. So that's um, that was pretty confidence inspiring for me. And um, I know in the test we did after, um, we did exactly the same lap time, which for me again is better because we've improved the bike over the two-day test we had, and it was just everything was getting better and better. Every time I jump on the bike, we're making improvements, and yep. we need to carry this on. And if we can, I'm pretty confident we can be, be competitive next year. You know? um, for sure, the, the bike was still developing it and understanding and getting it better. Um, for sure, there's still room for still room for improvement, but um, I'm pretty confident. Uh, I probably will will do that. We'll uh, will achieve their goals and make the bike better, and hopefully we can yeah be faster. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're at uh, Estoril, but Estoril is no good for you, is, is it? It's Portimao. Well, that's on the World yeah. Superbike calendar, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's the it was the last round the championship last year that I did with Aprilia and yep. um, everything went pretty good we were just sort of we weren't going there to, to try for results we were going there to understand the bike for, for the team to understand what I want from the bike so we made little changes to understand the direction we need to go yep. to really make a mistake yep. and um, if we can continue that in testing then as I say hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll make the right changes every time we do make them mm. um, and be be stronger at the, for the beginning of the year yeah 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 so Porto May was good for us and we've, we've got another test there, um, I think in maybe end of January, beginning of February and also we race I think early on in the year, mm. 2010. Right, okay, good stuff. Uh, where, where in, um, where in uh, England are you from? Uh, or, no sorry, sorry that might be, where from, uh, British Isles are you from? Um, I am from England, yep. um, <coughs> right on the pretty much south coast near, near Ashford in Kent, there's a little village called Betherston that I live. Okay. Um, and it's probably like, I don't know, halfway between London and, um, and Dover. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Down south. But uh, I assume yeah. as your career progresses, you'll be at Isle of Man or Monaco or something? Or? Um, I'm looking at moving away for, for this year, to be honest. Just, just the, um, the weather at the minute in England is horrendous. Yeah. It's constantly flooding. Always. Yeah. Um, and it's... I need to, to up my get my game again for next year. Um, mm. I need a better training base, a better a better place to, to commute from. Mm. So I'm looking at, at moving abroad for, for next year at the minute. Yeah, yeah. 
cool. And for the uh, young hopeful girls out there, have you got a girlfriend? Not at the minute, no. No? Okay. So, let them come here. <laughs> Good. Okay. Thanks for the chat. No Thank, Thank you. you.